What's up, guys? I'm Jared Prudolph Smith. And I'm Nathan Forster, and we're here at Reebok CrossFit Fifth Ave. To introduce to you a week of working out in the life of Rich Froning. Friday morning, the 20 minute AMRAP of five squat cleans at 185, followed by 10 push ups and 15 pull ups. The difference between the squat clean and the power clean is that instead of trying to pull the bar up as you pull your body under, this time Nate is going to extend his hips. Once his hips are open, he's shrugging and pulling his body against the bar, under the bar. Following the squat cleans is 10 push ups. Remember, Engage your core, tight body for those push-ups. Keep your elbows tight, creating external rotation between your humerus and your, into your shoulders. Tight butt, tight legs, tight abs, all the way up, all the way down. 15 pull-ups. Again, Nate is doing a butterfly kip. The Friday afternoon workout is 10 rounds for time of 10 kettlebell swings and 10 box jumps. The kettlebell swings, Nate is going to drive his hips back almost as if he was going in the bottom of a deadlift. Drives his hips back and then he snaps his hips vertical as he extends his arm overhead. 10 box jumps with the weighted vest. Remember, extend your hips at the top. Saturday morning. Rich is ready to go. Starts off circuit number one. Three rounds of descending reps of nine, six, and three. Thrusters and muscle ups. For the thrusters, Nate is going to do a squat clean and then drive into that press. Remember, you're accelerating into that press. Squat, press. Where you're doing, you're opening and closing your shoulders to generate a kip. As you close your shoulders, you're pulling down on the rings pulling through your chest into that dip receiving position. Circuit number two is three rounds for time of 20 sit-ups and 20 ring dips. I'm gonna demonstrate these sit-ups on a glute ham developer. So these are how Rich does his sit-ups. He does GHD sit-ups, that's what these are. Balls of his feet on the platform as he descends his torso towards the ground. As soon as he touches the ground with his hands, He's going to fire his quads, snapping his body up, driving his heels into that plate, and then touching his toes at the top. You're opening and closing your shoulders to generate a kip. As you close your shoulders, you're pulling down on the rings, pulling through your chest into that dip receiving position. Saturday afternoon, you were starting off with the circuit. 10 rounds for time performed in ascending order from one to 10, so one, so one bench, one front squat. Two benches, two front squat. Three and three, four and four, up to 10. Our last workout on Saturday is a 20 minute AMRAP of 20 sit-ups, 10 muscle-ups, 20 sumo deadlift high pulls, 30 calories on the air dime machine and 20 wall balls. What you're doing, you're opening and closing your shoulders to generate a kip. As you close your shoulders, you're pulling down on the rings, pulling through your chest into that dip receiving position. Nate is going to stand with a, in a sumo stance so his feet are outside of his shoulders going to drive his hips back and then bend through his knees, pushing them out over his ankles. He's going to grab the bar and try to aggressively turn his thumbs into the bar, turning his biceps forward. Notice how that engages his shoulders back, nice straight back. He's going to drive through his heels, extending his hips once the bar passes over his knees. As that happens, he's going to extend into a shrug and drive his elbows up towards his ears, pulling the bar up to his chin. 30 calories on the Airdyne machine. The Airdyne looks like a bike, but you're also pumping your arms, so you're getting an upper and lower body leg workout. And the last movement of this AMRAP is 20 wall balls. So again, Nate has a nice stable base, weight in his heels, drops into a squat, then drives that ball up into a, almost like a two-handed put, hitting the target. We are done for the week. 
you might want to go take yourself on a vacation because if you made it through this, you deserve a little reward. <laughs>